This is how to replace a power delivery chip on a Nintendo Switch OLED. The chip ID is M92T36. If you have a switch that no longer charges and the USB-C port is fine, about 90% of the time we find it's this chip. And why is it this chip? Well, there's no data sheet on this particular chip because it's proprietary from Nintendo, but there are similar chips on the market and they list the maximum voltage on the configuration channel pin at six volts. So often what happens is people are using cell phone chargers, laptop chargers, and some third-party docks will fry this chip because they'll send more than six volts to it. So we replace a lot of these chips every year. It's the most common repair other than USB-C on any Nintendo Switch. So let's remove this chip and replace it with a new one. The first thing we'll do is tin the chip with solder. You'll wanna put a good layer of flux on the chip so that the solder flows. When soldering, I always recommend a smoke absorber. Flux has a lot of bad stuff in it, so you don't wanna inhale it. Next, I clean the chip off with 99.9% .9 isopropyl alcohol. To remove the chip, I'm using an Atten ST862D rework station. Again, you'll wanna add flux and apply heat. When it's ready to release from the board, you'll see the solder turn really shiny. At that point, you can just lift gently with your tweezers. I like to use 410 Celsius and about 80% air on the Atten. What's most important is the distance you hold the wand to the board. Because we have tinned the new chip, I usually find that I do not need to clean up or add more solder to the pins on the board. And I like to apply flux when the board is still warm and you only need just a tiny bit of flux. If you put too much flux on, you'll find your chip will float away. Next, you'll just set your chip in place and get it lined up as best you can. Once the solder starts to melt, each pin will sort of act like a magnet and you'll see it snap into place. This can be a bit tricky the first couple times you try it, but you'll get a feel for it the more times you do it. And then you'll wanna clean it with 99.9% .9 isopropyl alcohol. And you'll want to inspect each pin to make sure they're soldered well. I do everything under a microscope so I can see every pin. Using this method, I rarely ever have to touch up anything with a soldering iron. But if you think one of the pins is not soldered well, you can add some flux and go over that pin with the soldering iron. All the parts are listed in the description. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And happy fixing!